All right, in this video, I want to demonstrate a little bit of the sound differences between Diva, Monarch, and in my case, a Slim Fatty Moog. Um, it's about the filter. The filter is always turned up resonance to the right, so resonance is turned fully up, and then I'm sweeping with a cutoff frequency. We start with Monarch. And to see it better, I have a channel EQ where you can see how far it goes down somewhere here. And now this is the Diva. Now the filter has changed, but the filter has changed in Diva. It's the multi mode filter. And this is the Slim Fatty. So, uh, I do it once again. Um, the difference in sound can be discussed. I'd say they're all capable of bringing a similar vibe and I tried to select a similar waveform and use a init preset and only play one oscillator and in Monarch for example start with the uh, multi-mode filter and uh, Monarch has different filters, has a multi-mode LP2 and an LP1. So we, you can hear all three of them. Wait a second, I turn on the channel equalizer. It's a little bit difficult on this uh, screen. There it is. This is the multi-mode filter. Doesn't go too far beyond. Now it's LP2. And this is LP1. So it's obvious that LP1 one, uh, does let more bass through, but the frequency itself doesn't go too far beyond here. So. Um, in order to be fair, I tried to give uh, the Diva also a multi-mode filter in the beginning, uh, not in the beginning, at the end, sorry. So let's listen to it. We start with the ladder filter. It stops here, so I'd say it goes further down in the Monarch a little bit, but now when I switch to the multi-mode filter sorry switch to the multi-mode filter I can hear much more bass down there so this goes really down and of course with the Moog the normal ladder filter is definitely the one of those three that goes down the most. So there is still a difference if you use hardware, but if you check the sounds, of course, it's easier to reload them, save them. Um, in some cases where you don't go so low, you don't hear a big difference. Uh, another difference is though that in uh, Diva you can have multiple detunings for each voice you play. Well, I haven't checked everything of Monarch yet, but I don't see this feature here. It's more like a pure mini MOOC. And the disadvantage of this Monarch is that all the presets are stored within the ensemble. 
and if you use an ensemble with your song then you are asked to save the ensemble with the song meaning that it gets a little bit difficult to manage the presets that you spontaneously uh, create and save in the ensembles because in the end you have one ensemble per song so that's a little bit easier to solve with diva or maybe even with the uh, slim fatty all right that's it for now i hope it was interesting for you